let's take a look at stats before we get started. So we got item cost and cooldown reduction maxed out. 300% crit damage, so added 100%. The base crit damage is 200%. Hello and welcome to a new free fight run. I was not supposed to make a video today, but I had a pretty good run. In fact, I did 61. I recorded it. That was uh, two days ago or something like this. And I wasn't sure if I was going to uh, publish it, but this one I'll publish. It went super good and this is the base character. I tried multiple characters. I'll show you uh, one character that's a bit odd, the one with the thorns. They're not all unlocked yet. I want to try them all. I did not unlock everything in the shop either. I'll show you what I unlocked. But this run was pretty good and uh, one of the reasons is Honeypot. I remember the first video where I accidentally upgraded honeypot. I was like, what is this thing? It felt like it was useless, but it's very important uh, because at the later waves, this is wave 51, last video, I died at 52, I think. I go crazier and crazier, but with honeypot, and I get obsessed here with uh, the duration of honeypot, I can stand in a honey puddle. I don't do it yet, but I will have to eventually. And then it really slows down the mobs before they hit me and I have time to kill them. The last run that I did well, the 61, where I died at 61, I had tornado. It was pretty good too. If they fall into the tornado, they're dead. Uh, but in this run I didn't have it and I did not have explosion. So what do I have? So I'm going to look at all the items because I don't really remember the numbers right I was concentrating on doing the run I saw I got 14 missiles and I think I got um, only once uh, the I think it's the speed of the missile plus 50% or something like that you know it's one of those boss rewards that you get ballista okay the ballista I'm trying to find it where are you ballista so the ballista is 14 because I got three times 50% more attack speed on Ballista. So I want you to look at the Ballista. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. You will see how, look at the arrows. I know it's uh, two times normal speed, but even at normal speed, it's insane how many arrows this thing throws. See, look on the left, it's pretty crazy. So it's awesome. Uh, I have 10 or more. It was clearly not enough towards the end. Of course, it's good not to get hit, but I was getting hit really hard. You can't be perfect. I messed up a little bit. It's one of the reasons why I was hesitant with the 61 wave run because I really, you know, I would really just uh, walk into a mob that's just standing there. I played poorly, I find, at the end. In this one, I'm not a shame so I, I'm able to uh, share it with you I made mistakes I can get better but uh, it went okay it went okay I got um, three regen per second three health regen per second I think it's not maxed out in the shop yet the permanent upgrade shop should I go higher than that I don't know should I go to five I don't know so I don't have 1000 health yet but I will I got 100% crit that's automatic uh, I uh, was it last video about free fight that I talk about crit damage well I found out it's additive it's not multiplicative I bought 5 so instead of 200% damage it's 300% damage when I crit if it was multiplicative it would be really really strong so I don't know if it's a good idea or not I don't have a clue cost reduction for items, I bought every one I could, the soonest I could, and there's a cap to that. I showed you the cap is 50% of the prices, so they stop offering it to me. I got the uh, Trail of Fire only to level 3 just to get the evolution. Honey Pot 6, Honey Pot, sorry, 6, where it will go up. And uh, Lightning, I don't even know if I should uh, upgrade this. It gives one extra damage 
one damage per upgrade. Is it really worth it? I don't know. So here I continue with the honeypot because it's a discovery that I made. I thought about it. You keep offering you honeypot, okay? And uh, the tornado I thought was awesome, but I didn't have it. And they kept offering me honeypot. So I said, why don't I try it? And it turned out to be a really good idea. You'll see later on how amazing this thing is. And I think I could have done a little better. I think there's a lot of skill involved in this game. So it's not just uh, all you get good items. I could have, I don't know if I could have made it past 80. Like 80 would be the boss, that's fine. So 81, maybe. If I played better, maybe. Um, otherwise, I would need a better build. So I'm going from left to right, trying to justify why I bought the thing. So the bottles, uh, this is, uh, what is it? Uh, oh yeah, the more mobs I kill, you know, with the circle in the middle. So the more mobs I kill, the more damage I make. It caps at 250%. You know, originally I thought there was no limit to this. Well, once again, it would be completely OP game breaking. Berserker, same thing. Only five levels. You know, the less health I have, the more damage I make. This is very important. It increases my speed too. Once I evolve it, I maxed it out at five. I got five upgrades on my main weapon. So I love this character because of the javelin that goes through mobs. It's one of my favorite characters. Even though it's the basic character, um, I don't have a full opinion on all the characters. I don't like the boomerang one. I tried the one with electricity. I tried the, <laughs> the strange one that I'm going to show you at the end of the video. I didn't like that one. So we'll see. Uh, there's others I want to try. As I said, I'll try them all anyways. The fire thing that goes around me, I don't know if it's good or not. I would have to see how much damage it does. It probably does little damage. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Same for the boomerang. But the flail, I hope I pronounced it correctly. I got eight of them. The flail, it's like a... What is it? It's a ball with spikes on it, on a chain that spins around me. That's pretty strong. And I upgraded it quite a lot. I think uh, the 10 thing is cooldown reduction. It's maxed out. And here I got Shuriken. Not a huge fan of Shuriken. I tried a Shuriken run where I really upgrade them a lot. You get a lot of Shuriken, but it don't seem to hit that hard. So why did I get it? I said, ah, oh, well, you know, if I get five, I can at least get the evolution and throw a bunch of Shuriken 360 degrees. So I'll do that. I got only one magnet this time. I don't think I need more than that. And then, um, yeah, now we're at 15 magic missiles. I got four arrows. That's because I got a uh, boss upgrade of... Um, Oh, I forgot what it is, but it has to do with arrows. More damage or something like this. But they don't offer it too much. I think a lot of arrows, that's the uh, purple thing falling from the sky. That could be really strong, but I don't have enough. Then uh, okay, I got thorns. I think the three falling ones are evolutions. And uh, look how much money I make. Come on. Spike ball. I love the spike ball. Plus 10 volley damage. Oh, I got it just right now. Okay, never mind. I didn't have it yet. So yeah, it was damaged. So I'm going to concentrate on trying to get more volley. Now I got five. Yeah, the spike ball uh, had good success with it. When I did the 61 waves, spike ball was really strong. So... You know, it's not very leveled up, but uh, that's pretty much it. Is there anything else? I don't know what the logo beside it is. But yeah, it's a decent build. I'm really experimenting right now. I'm still learning the game. I don't even have all the permanent upgrades yet. I don't have all the characters yet. It's the third one I'm showing you, by the way. If I make uh, it's really possible because the game came out in mobile. So if uh, there's enough views on these videos I'll make a fourth video I'll make a free five playlist like Vampire Survivor as a non-linear series 
just runs. Okay. So wave 62, I just beat my record because I died at 61. And uh, it's still relatively comfortable. Yes, I got hit, you can tell here. Look at my health though. Look on the top left how much recovery I get. But maybe I need more, I don't know. But if I do that, I take away some DPS. So I have to make a decision. Five feels right. Right now it's three per second that I get. The fountain, I'm done with it. I hate that thing. It appears in the middle of mobs. It gives you 30 L, which is pathetic. You can upgrade it to 40, 50, 60, 70. No, I'm gonna go with regen. I don't believe in the fountain. Maybe one day they'll uh, add evolutions for other things, including the fountain, then I'll consider it. Because the game is still being developed, they keep adding stuff. Did you see the arrows on the right? <laughs> the arrows were sliding on the edge of the screen. Yeah, it's not like... You see the arrows? Look, the arrows on the right. <laughs> so it's not like Empire Survivors where you... Uh, it would be like, uh, which game could I name? Well, Popeye on NES is pretty... I don't know if it's that popular, but... Uh, Wrecking Crew or whatever game that you go on the side of the screen, you appear the other side. In Vampire Survivors, it loops. In this, you could appear on the other side, would be a bit odd, but... Uh, they can't copy everything that Vampire Survivors do. So what happens with this game, you can be stuck in a corner and can be trouble. Or it can be to your advantage, I'm not too sure. But I go wherever the honey puddles are. So I'm doing fine, it's really in the 70s that I'm gonna get some serious trouble. So it's really, as you can tell, it's one big wave, then a little break. One big wave, then a little break, right? So when I get a little break, I try to pick up some money. That was one of the problems in the 70s. Um, I was getting hit all the time. I, I was afraid of getting out. Maybe I should have been more courageous and got out of my puddle and pick up as much money as possible. Because I'm going to start running out of money. There's also a thing in the permanent shop where if you skip completely the shop, they talk about interest or something. I don't really understand it, but maybe I'll get a discount or make more money or something like this. I don't have that yet. So I could skip the shop as a strategy, you know, instead of just hitting continue and buying almost nothing or just one thing, I could skip it. So I'll have to buy this thing. So 65, to be frank I was pretty sure I would make it to 70, I would have to choke here not to make it to 70. I really wanted to get to 80 though. Again I think I had what it took, it's just a skill problem, uh, the reason why I didn't make it. Let me know what you think but uh, with better skills. I'm still new to this game, so I'll get better, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not in my prime yet, I guess. <laughs> uh, I think I could reach uh, 81 with this and then probably die there, or 82 or something, maximum, maximum. I don't know what's the highest ever, I would have to check on Discord. Did anyone reach 100? I wouldn't be surprised. Some people are so good at these games. Now if I beat that record, would I make another video? Maybe. Probably. Even if almost nobody watches and I go like 100 or something, I'll be so proud. I'll put it out and like 150 people will watch and I won't care. I gotta be careful with caring too much about views. I'm trying to grow this channel. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome and invite you to look around, see what you like. And if you like what you see, subscribe. But, you know, uh, it's good to try to grow my channel, but it's important also that I play games that I like and I share it with you, even though uh, the series is not that popular. I cannot only concentrate on popular series. And anyways, they started slowing down because I'm pretty advanced in some of the games, so it takes forever to have enough footage to make one video that is successful. But in between, what do I do? I try all sorts of games 
and also play games I enjoy and this one I enjoy it a lot it's not perfect it doesn't have to be perfect I really enjoy it a lot I think it's a game that has great potential I already said that in previous uh, runs so wave 68 we're approaching uh, well not my death yet because I think uh, what 75 or something I'll be at least 75 so maybe a little more than this But yeah, we're fine here. I wish uh, this temple would stay, but of course it gets tougher and tougher. Also, uh, oh yeah, the brimstone, if you watched the other video that I was talking about the brimstone, the one with the wave 61, they kept offering me that blue ball. I took it and I had the brimstone and with cooldown reduction, it keeps proccing. It shoots, it shoots. He choose okay it goes about like that so it's pretty good so what I did is not because what I would do in the past with that brimstone when I talk about brimstone is a reference to binding of Isaac it's just a big blue laser that you throw from your mouth that goes through the screen I would sacrifice myself just to turn around to hit mobs I stopped doing that I just played normally and let the laser I'll call it the proper name let the laser just shoot randomly I ignored the mobs well of course I'm not stupid if there's space above me and I'm shooting the laser of course I'll move up to hit more mobs but you know what I mean I was not sacrificing myself to really concentrate using only the laser so this is really easy just walks into my fire Not a point. look at the arrows again and then they give me even more ballista firing rate nice so i wasn't sure what to do here so now now it's even worse as you would expect and uh, i will not reach 80 unfortunately so let's see what happens because i was so concentrated i want to see what happens but uh, as i said it's a skill problem it's not that because look i'm killing them so what's the problem I think the problem is me but when I get hit I get hit hard if you look at my health okay I'm full we'll check once I get hit just once look I got hit once or twice sometimes because there's no um, look at that I, I lost what almost half my health it's not like in Mega Man when you have invincibility it's like pop, 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 pop. they hit you several times in a row so it's pretty bad uh, there's no um, I don't think so good well you gotta adjust to the way the game is made. I don't know if it's a bad thing or not. If you should have half a second of... Uh... Well, you could exploit that though. Like in Vampire Survivors, you know when there's a bunch of flowers around you, especially when you begin, you have nothing, no eggs. Let's say you're a beginner with a beginning character, you're surrounded by these uh, flowers and you're stuck. You push through the flowers and there is a little bit of invincibility once you get hit it's not like you know it's like tiu, 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 makes a sound like this sorry for the poor imitation but in this game you can get hit bang 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 so yeah it's um i gotta just not get hit at all but some of the mobs are really hard to see little mice and little bats Ugh. where i need to improve is when there's a big mob not walk into it like here i'm not moving and i get hit what should i do move if i move i'm gonna move into a mouse or a bat or something so i could tell that I was he really running out of steam see i got hit by this that was horrible that was horrible there was one mob and i ran into it so i gotta stop doing that that's one of the reasons why i died because that one hit, if it didn't happen, when I died, I would have still been alive. It's one less hit taken, you know. So, yeah, I just gotta get better at the game. Find a better build. Of course, I cannot control what they offer me. Figure out what's good, what's bad. I'm not so sure exactly what's good and what's bad yet. So two things seem to be really good early game, like the electricity thing. 
you know, uh, summon, thunder, whenever you hit a mob. It seems really good early game, but late game, I'm not so sure it does that much damage. Or maybe it does. And if you know, please let me know in the comments. Yes, I gotta say, please let me know in the comments at least once per video. Look at these arrows again. Amazing. So I said to myself, I want to beat at least 75. Because I was in trouble here. Not enough. HP regen once again I feel like uh, I want to try well I want to try see I got hit again I want to try five look see I skipped the shop here I would have gotten some sort of bonus if I bought that thing I'm talking about we'll try to look at it it will be fast though but we'll try to look at it I'll just point to it uh, in the permanent shop what I mean so my goal was to survive here one more round so I could ride in a title wave 75. Um, but then after that, it's just death. There's so many mobs. I see I'm doing fine now. So I'm able not to get hit. That's why I said I could have made it to E. I'm convinced of it. You don't have to be perfect. But you gotta be careful not to get hit. There you go. We made it. So we beat 75. So I said, this is totally worthy of a video. I'll put a little screenshot on Discord. I saw somebody screenshot 81, but I'm not on the Discord too often. So I don't know, once again, what are the higher numbers. But 75, uh, yeah, I'm going to put a little screenshot there once the video releases. So I just don't remember if I died at 76 or 77, honestly. And I just did that run, but uh, all I had in mind is 75, you know what I mean? So let's see if I make it here. All these puddles appear on the edge of the screen. No, there's no puddle. Come on, where's the honey? Ah. And the honey in the circle. And I made it. I beat 76. So I might write way 75 plus or something like that. Because I like round numbers. Oh my god, I'm going to get... I got 100 health, 180 health. No way of surviving this now. What a shame. I just instead of the flight, there was black screen here. Yeah, I fixed it. I'm about to die. And I'm dead. Okay, so damage. Magic missile, 56 million. Volley, 52 million. Ballista, 45. Volley did a lot of damage. So maybe I could try a volley build in the future. You know? I don't know. So, when you look at that, I maxed out all these, not help yet. Crit chance I'll get up to 10%. Look on the right, compound interest, 2.5% interest when skipping shops. What do they mean by interest? So I'm going to buy this, but it's pretty expensive though. So I might have to do more than one run. So we're getting there in terms of uh, shop. Now I wanna show you the toad <laughs> I hate that character I got killed by the first boss I died at wave 10 horrible you gotta you can use WASD or the mouse but you just uh, aim and jump not mobile at all and I hate that character <laughs> so this is uh, three key characters that's because I'm missing the that character I didn't try E-I-R Wave 9 without moving. Yeah, if you hit continue It makes you move because you can move with the mouse. You have to hit escape. I found that out So I did the achievement for 19 without moving so I'll do 9. It's pretty easy. So we're almost done with achievements Anyways, I wanted to share that with you now that the game is out on mobile I'll keep an eye to see uh, if there's an audience for this uh, game If I do an absolutely ridiculous run I'll uh, like something stupid like 90 plus i don't know i'll uh, make another video i hope you like this video if you did please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to support this channel you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos thank you for watching and see you next time